The key to synchronization is to have a balanced and athletic posture. A posture that allows us to have our upper body and our lower body balanced on top of one another. We're trying to create a balance line so that the back of the right shoulder, the front of the right knee forms a straight line into the ball of our right foot where our weight and balance is set in the balls of our feet. A great visual to ensure that our center of gravity is low enough right in our midsection, our core, where all our speed, rotary motion, balance, and resistance comes from, is that we have our tailbone up and out and our belt buckle is angled to the ball. Now, the width of our stance, the inside of the heels want to, wants to match up with the tips of our shoulders for every club. Our ball position for our short irons, right in the middle of our stance. For our mid irons, just, just forward of middle or just off the left eye, and for our fairway woods and driver, just off the instep of the left heel. Now where we set our weight and balance for our irons, 55% of the weight wants to be in our right leg, 45% in the left, and for our woods, our uh, tilt of the spine is more behind the ball to the right, so 60% of our weight is in our right leg and 40% in our left. Now, when we have the club directly behind the ball, we never want to see our hands ahead. This does not allow us to swing the club in sync. We want the left side of the grip or the shaft to be right in line with the back of the ball. Now lastly, tension is one of the biggest factors as to not being able to swing the club correctly initially in the move away. Now one of the biggest things I see as far as tension and posture is people have their neck up or their chin up. So just go ahead and relax the neck. This is instantly going to allow you to soften and relax the shoulders, arms, and hands to swing the club consistently and efficiently. Get a balanced and athletic posture and you too can be in sync.